Hi guys, this is RM from A3QZ TV, and I'm showing you guys today how to create a virtual machine of Snow Mac Snow Leopard on your Windows, Intel, or AMD based computer. To start, you need to download two programs. I'll post a link to both of them in the description. The first one is this Oracle VirtualBox. It's a simple program and it's free and it's open source so you can just go onto their website and get it there'll be a link in the description it works on Mac Windows or Linux and then you need the second program it's called the hazard ISO they have a website but it'll just link you to this and it's for run it's for running OS X snow leopard on your laptop or on your Windows computer and I have not had any problems with it yet, and there have been good reviews on it. I'll post a link to it in the to a description or a download as well. And I guess you'll need uTorrent or a BitTorrent client too. But okay, and it's just a distro. That means it'll work on your Intel or AMD-based computer, and and won't check for the Mac hardware. Okay, now to start, you have to make a new virtual box. I'm going to call it OS X. And the new button is right there in the corner. I'm going to call it OSX Tutorial. And then whatever you call it, you have to drag down to Mac OS X and check Mac OS X or, or select Mac OS X server. If it works, you'll see the X there. Then you click Next. You can give it however much RAM you want. I'll give it less because I don't. I like Windows better. And then you would click create a new startup disk, and it's going to give you a second wizard. You want a virtual box disk image for this will be the best, most likely. Then you can choose dynamically allocated or fixed. A dynamically allocated just gives it as much as it wants. A fixed size will all it you means you can assign it more or less, but it will not change. So you'll have the problem of running out of memory so I really suggest dynamically allocated and then this is what they will think is the maximum size you need over 15 gigabytes and you can rename the virtual disk to if you want to you shouldn't that would make it harder and just leave it at 20 because 20 gigs because that's it needs at least 15 and it it will change anyway so and then you look check everything on that list is correct and then press the create button okay now this is the part that's sort of tricky you have to click okay click on your new thing that you just made and click settings now scroll over to system and find enable EFFI and er, find e, enable EFFI and check it off because you do not want that then you can go to display if you want it, an audio if you want to change anything network if you want it to be on the internet but it's defaulted on USB you can enable if you want it to which USB device ports it wants you to use to add a shared folder you have to do something later I will do another tutorial about that okay and then what you do now is you go this is the important thing you absolutely have to do other than the EFFI is you go to IDE controller and under that click on an empty disk then find this picture of a disk here choose a virtual CD and navigate to wherever you download extracted that torrent to and I put mine in my downloads folder and then you just call it, select it and you've got, it should say snow leopard dash whatever you used and then do another check to make sure it has everything you want you can change up some other things too if you want to but you don't have to I only showed exactly what you had to do then you press OK then you click on it Press start to power up your virtual machine. 
This is the part where it gets less tricky. Okay, now you click in the click in it. See my mouse disappeared because it's running that interface, and you press F8. Okay, I pressed it too slowly. Close. Yes. Okay. So that means I missed something, which is always fun. System. Yeah. Okay. Start your machine. F8. You press F8, it'll load this, and then it'll pop up the mouse pointer integration. This will take a long time to start up, so I'll just skip that on the tutorial, or I'll skip through this. Okay, yep, you saw the hazard ISO picture in the background. I'm going now, it's gotten to the point where we can just full screen it because everything, which would be your host key and then F, the default host key is right control. And unless you change that in between what we were doing now, it wouldn't have, it'll still be that. And then F is full screen. Then where it says English for the main language, you would click right if you're I guess if you're speaking a different language main don't do that okay now this part is sort of tricky you want to press continue here and this is something from the hazard ISO and then you press agree then you this part you is what you won't come up with see there's no hard drives there so you go to utilities and click on disk utility see this hazard in the background there and then you click on this 20 gigabyte go to erase and just press erase the whole thing and then press erase and now it partitions your fake hard drive which is stuff on the other one and then you go first date no then you can go here if you want to rename it call it A3QZTV but it doesn't usually like it when I rename things okay don't rename things then okay and it just you have it there that's your box now you close and you can now access the untitled drive and see I'm just going to show you how it's dynamically allocated it needs 19.6 so it thinks there's 19.7 And then, okay, and it needs 5.4 gigabytes of space. So then you would press continue to install. Then this is also really important. You need to click customize. It won't work if you don't do this. You need to check this, these boxes. You have to check this thing on the top that says Mac OS X 10.6.2. Then you have to go to... Okay, I'm assuming you're doing this on the hazard or on okay, you go to kernels and then you need legacy kernel and now this part is what differs if you want AMD or yeah if you have to use AMD you just check AMD here and then you need if you're on Intel device you need the latest version of chameleon which for the in this ISO is 10.5 and you'll probably want Rosetta as well and yeah you can use QuickTime if you want okay and yeah install the additional fonts too while you're there and then press done yes then install. This part's going to take about a half hour. So I'll just. Right, this installation takes. I'm running this on a lot of memory, and it takes me about a half hour to 15 minutes to do this. 
and then at the end I'll show you okay now this is here is one part that's slightly tricky so I'm just gonna pause the virtual machine right here or it could take about 13 minutes this part I'm pausing the virtual machine because this is tricky and don't do this when I'm doing it if you're just listening to the audio don't listen if you're just watching I don't know how you're gonna do this because you won't figure it out uh, okay go to you, exit or okay, let's say you're still in the control you don't have to Okay. when this finishes Apple will show you a screen that says will reset in nine When it says you will reset in nine seconds or under nine seconds, you click here and you go to back on, it'll be on the bottom if you have it full screened and you just wave your mouse over the bottom of the screen and that'll kind of pop up. And then there'll be something that says devices. It'll look like a picture of a CD on the bottom. You click CD, DVD devices and then press remove disk from virtual drive and then you have to force the unmount and then continue and it will reboot itself don't manually reboot it and then once it happens it'll show you the chameleon it'll be a really long startup time but then you'll have your snow leopard and just to show you guys that it does work at the end I'm gonna power up this snow mech snow leopard has a really long boot time And I'm going to load it up just to show you guys. So while we're doing this, I'd just like to say thanks for watching my first tutorial video. I hope it works for you. Um, just remember, don't follow my step with the rebooting. Wait until it finishes and you see a, set, a different screen. Then force the unmount and just let it be. If this doesn't work remember okay there's a couple things on uh, this page I'm just gonna troubleshoot right now Th at the very beginning you might get the same error I had that would be because you did not press F8 fast enough I personally didn't press it fast enough because I was t t doing a tutorial and those are the only errors you should encounter I'm going to forewarn you though this version of Mac OS X Snow Leopard that is on the hazard working does not have the entire uh, what is it called it does not have the Mac App Store I see it's booting up and here is OS X working perfectly on my laptop with no lag I'll just show an application I guess uh, and here is Safari showing that it works you will have the entire original dock on the bottom. I just closed it. It was too much space. And here you go. Working on the internet. And everything is working right now. Okay, this is the one thing I'm going to forewarn you about. I started to say it earlier. Okay. Something that will be tempting for you to do is press this Apple and then click this software update button because then you could access the Mac App Store which is a big feature of Snow Leopard however you do not want to do that because that will make your entire device your entire virtual machine not work and then you'll have to do something that you should do anyway and I'm going to show it to you right now go to on your thing, or on, okay, on your bar that will appear when you hover your mouse at the way bottom, you click machine and then click take sh snapshot, or it's host, which would be right control T, and then it'll say take a snapshot. You want to rename it, it'll probably be called snapshot one for you, and it's a couple, uh, it's uh, just a file, and that means if you ever do anything 
to mess up anything at all on your device that you made you can click here then go up to the top to snapshots click the latest working snapshot and restore it and it's important to take one right after you make the device in case you really mess something up and need to go right back to the basics and avoid the half hour long installation time okay and if there are any questions or reviews post it in the comments thank you for watching and this does work and you've been watching a3 keys TV this is RM signing off